start with a magic circle. And chain 2. This chain 2 it won't be counted as a stitch and for this whole pattern the starting chain 2 it won't be counted as a stitch. Now make 12 double crochets in the circle. Once you're done, pull up this loop to close the gap and make a slip stitch on top of this first double crochet. Next round, start with chain 2. Again, this won't be counted as a stitch. Now make two double crochets in each and every stitch. Start the next stitch in the same stitch. Once you reach then make a slip stitch on top of this first double crochet and at the end of this round you should have 24 stitches. Next round start with chain 2, one double crochet in the same stitch and two double crochets in the next stitch. Now repeat this all around, one double crochet in the next stitch and two double crochets in the next stitch. Once you reach then make a slip stitch on top of this first double crochet and at the end of this round you should have 36 stitches. Next round start with chain 2, one double crochet in the same stitch one double crochet in the next stitch that's one and two two double crochets and two double crochets in the next stitch now repeat this one double crochet each in the next two stitches and two double crochets in the next stitch Once you reach then make a slip stitch on top of this first double crochet and total you should have 48 stitches. This base measures around 7 inches. If you wish to make a larger size basket you can keep repeating this increase round. I will give the details in the description box below. Now to make the turning base we will be working only in the back loops. Start with chain 1. Again this won't be counted as a stitch. One back loop single crochet in the same stitch. This is the back loop. Repeat this all around, one back loop single crochet in each and every stitch. This is how it will look, it will make the turning base. Once you reach then make a slip stitch on top of the first single crochet and make the slip stitch in both the loops. Next round start with chain 2. Again this won't be counted as a stitch. Now make one front post double crochet in 3 stitches. Start the first stitch in the same stitch. This is the chain 1 and this is the front post. Insert a hook through the chain 1 also. This will make a neat finish to the basket. Pull through first two loops and finally the last two loops. That's when front post double crochet made. Now make two more stitches. Now 
make one back post double crochet in the next three stitches set your hook from the back side Now repeat this all around. One front post double crochet each in the next three stitches. One back post double crochet in the next three stitches. Once you reach then make a slip stitch on top of this first front post double crochet. Next round start with chain 2. Now here with the each round we will be alternating the starting stitches. Here you have a front post double crochet. So you will start off with back post double crochet. Yarn over. This is the chain 2. Insert your hook through that stitch also. Yarn on. Pull up a loop pull through first two loops and finally the last two loops that's one back post double crochet made one back post double crochet in the next two stitches now in the next stitches you have back post double crochet so you will make one front post double crochet in each and every stitch Now repeat this all around. One back post double crochet in the next three stitches and one front post double crochet in this three stitches. Once you reach then make a slip stitch on top of this first stitch. Now keep repeating this last two rounds until you reach the size which you need. Start with chain 2 and with each round you will be alternating the starting stitches. Here you have a back post double crochet so you will start off with front post double crochet. This is a chain 2 and this is the stitch. And back post double crochet in the stitches. Now 
you know repeat this this is how the basket will look Now for the last round, we will be working on the wrong side, that is turn your basket like this and we will be working from inside the stitches. Start with chain 2, again this won't be counted as a stitch. This is a slip stitch and this is the first stitch. Make one half double crochet in the stitch and one slip stitch in the same stitch. Skip the next stitch and in the next stitch repeat the same, one half double crochet and one slip stitch in the same stitch. Repeat this skip the next stitch in the next stitch one half double crochet and one slip stitch this is how it will look repeat this all around and once you reach then make a slip stitch on this first stitch and weave up your yarn I hope you like this video, please do subscribe to my channel, thank you for watching.